In Australia, all newborn babies are screened for rare but important medical disorders two to three days after they are born. If these diseases are diagnosed early, treatment can start immediately and serious intellectual and or physical disability can be prevented. The test is best performed when your baby is between 48 and 72 hours of age. Screening is quick and safe. If you are breastfeeding, you will be asked to start feeding your baby, as the comfort provided during a breastfeed can reduce any pain your baby may feel. A few drops of blood will be taken from your baby's heel and collected onto blotting paper. If you and your baby plan to go home within this time, talk to your midwife about where the tests can be performed. You will be asked to provide your consent and sign the collection card before the blood sample is collected from your baby. If you choose not to have your baby screened, the screening card details will be completed, the card marked declined and sent to the laboratory. All the results are usually completed within six weeks. You will only be contacted if your baby's results come back with an abnormal result and provided with instructions about what to do next. This will usually involve further testing. The Healthy Hearing Program is available to all babies and is completed by our specially trained staff who will offer hearing screening whilst in hospital. The screen should be completed as soon as possible after the birth. If the screen is not completed before you leave hospital, your baby can have the hearing screen as an outpatient soon after you go home. The Healthy Hearing Program aims to identify babies with a hearing loss. Healthy hearing is critical to your child's speech and language development and can impact on your child's learning if not identified at an early age. The hearing screen does not hurt your baby. A trained person will do the screen when your baby is asleep. Several soft pads will be placed gently on your baby's head and a soft earphone will be lightly placed over each ear. Soft clicking sounds will be played into your baby's ears and the pads will monitor your baby's responses to the sounds. The results of the screen will be available immediately and documented in your baby's health record. A past result suggests that it is unlikely your baby has a hearing loss that will affect their speech and language and development. A small number of babies may pass the initial screen but have risk factors for hearing loss, which may take longer to become apparent. In this instance, your GP can arrange a referral to an audiologist to complete a repeat screen before your baby's first birthday. There are many reasons your baby may get a refer result. These can include your baby being unsettled during the screening, too much background noise during the screening, your baby may have fluid or mild blockage in the ear following birth. And a small number of babies may have temporary or permanent hearing loss. If your baby's results show a refer on one or both ears, they will be referred for screening again, usually as an outpatient. Pulse oximetry is a quick, simple test that does not hurt your baby. It gives us your baby's pulse rate and the amount of oxygen in your baby's blood. This screening test can detect potential heart conditions that are not picked up by antenatal ultrasound or clinical examination. A small sensor is placed around your baby's right wrist and the connecting cord is attached to the monitor. The sensor shines a red light through the baby's skin. This will analyse your baby's blood oxygen levels within a few minutes. The same tests will then be repeated on one of your baby's feet. This screening test can be done while you are holding and or feeding your baby. 
This screening test will occur before you and your baby leave the hospital. Usually the screening will be carried out after you have been transferred to the postnatal floor. But sometimes it will occur before discharge in birth suite recovery or theatre.